Hi, welcome to The Visitation on AM820. I am Mary Beth Eberhard, and I'm here with my good friend Lisa Iglesias. Hello, hey, Mary Beth. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I am so excited about today's show because it's really going to lean into the things that are near and dear to our heart, specifically Mary and motherhood, um, because I was thinking, um, you know, you often hear, what if they're... Um, or why isn't there a manual for motherhood, right? Oh, I've said that so many times. Right. Yeah. Um, and I was like, because you can think of all the different times in life when, um, you know, you'd, you'd love to be able to look up on page 18 and be like, how do I handle this situation, right? Mm -hmm. um, but there is. There really is. Um, <gasps> and today man, we're going to share that secret. And today um, I'm going to reveal to you um, that Mary is the manual. And... I think that she is the manual um, because God is the kind of father who he's a giver, right? He's a he's the all he, he's a provider, just mm -hmm. as fathers are, right? And and so he says to you, "I'm going to bless you with the gift of motherhood," and I'm going. I, I clearly he would never leave us alone in on mm -hmm. that journey, right? And so I was pondering. I was like, "All right, Mary Beth, if Mary is the manual, then." Um, how how is this going to work, right? And and I thought of um, your our Rosary group mm -hmm. um, there on YouTube with Catholic Marathon Mom. I was thinking about how you have taught me to walk through the mysteries with Mama Mary, mm -hmm. and how in walking through each of those mysteries, I have I have gained an insight into motherhood, whether it be. Um, be, how, how to, whether it be how to suffer, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, or watch watch my children suffer because suffering is a harder, part of right? their life. It's a part of our life. Whether it be, you know, through worry. I mean, Jesus gets lost in the temple, right? Like, um, but, and then like, I'm imagining her getting pretty frustrated, right? Like, where'd you go, buddy? Yeah. Um, and, and the, you know, the rosary walks us through with Mary how, how we can gain perspective mm -hmm. on those different instances. And you always have such a beautiful, I don't know, you're supple in that way to, um, to her guidance. Mm. So I was thinking I about hope you. So <laughs> I'm also the, 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 the tumultuous toddler at times too, in, in the prayer and, and in life in general and in mothering. But, um, I, something you just said right, right at the beginning, it just really struck me. Um, you said the father, wouldn't and doesn't leave us alone in this uh, grand vocation of mothering, mm -hmm. of motherhood, whether we're natural mothers or foster mothers or uh, adoptive mothers or not, um, you know, little people in the house, but like nurturing and loving and caring for our, for others. Um, however that we are mothering as women, he gave us Mary because we're not supposed to be alone in this mm. how many times it makes me think how many times um if it was a joyful or amazing or exciting moment or in the mothering or success like that the toddler slept last night or whatever um you want to share that but even more so when you're um you know solo mio in <laughs> mothering and and you're having the hard stuff to not be able to to have someone to look towards or look up to or um, seek guidance is com completely isolating and lonely. And you're proposing that uh, she's there right with us. And I, I want to know, um, I'm, I'm all about the rubber meets the road. So in your day, what are the things then that, um, that you lean towards or that, that come to mind or, that that she is there that she's in, encouraging or maybe firmly admonishing like maybe maybe yeah maybe that was a little too harsh there at least maybe you already told mm -hmm. that child seven times yeah you can stop yeah you're saying it again that's eight that's enough um where do you how do you lean into then this manual of how to mother you know what we we have just finished in our you know um having kind of a rotation of prayer of the Stations of the Cross. And the Stabat Mater had, had really, um, music is a, is a way that I pray. Um, and so the verses of the Stabat Mater really struck me um, as far as the pensiveness of Mary. 
Mm. And so, um, you know, walking that road to Calvary and I make, um, I make my life sound like it is an everlasting Calvary. It is not. It is full of... No, you don't. (laughs) Well, like when I'm thinking like, let me tell you about my day. I'm drawn to the Stabat Mater. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, maybe that was just a moment yesterday. Um, But um, again, just a moment. The, you know, the fact that Mary walks with us, she walked the road to Calvary with such grace. And so in my day when I am struggling, I... um, I call on her. I I think um, how joyful you must have been to be embraced by your son in heaven. Mm-hmm. And I'm drawn to the assumption. You know, I almost envision her arms out, right? Just like I'm coming. Yeah. And, and just that like beautiful, <laughs> right? And um, and that reminds me that like this motherhood is a gift, mm-hmm. even like in this moment. Um, and um Throughout the day, I think of, um, you know, even in patience when I am, I call up the stairs and I'm like, hey, what you doing up there? You know, I need everybody down for X, Y, Z. Yeah. You know, crickets. Oh, crickets. yeah. And, and I'm like, and, and like you can see the like thermometer rising, right? Oh, yeah. And so I've learned to call on mama, right? And I'm like, okay, Hail Mary, full of grace. And, and I have, if, it, it's never happened that I get through a Hail Mary and they haven't come. Mm. So I'm like, I'm just going to, I'm going to let you be the guide, Mama. Yeah, that pause. Right, mm-hmm. the pause. Um, because to not pause is pride. Right. right? So that to that not pause, I thought it was just, mm. um, just their obstinance. And I'm just going to have to get more yeah, upset to meet their obstinate. But it's actually, if I would, it's pride. Mm-hmm. What a horrible sin, right? And so like, the humility to go, hmm, I'll just pray a Hail Mary. Right. He can work. He, You know, God can work miracles that way. But you're looking, okay, so, okay, cool. I think I'm, I'm, I'm receiving this. So that idea of she was patient. She was, um, she walked to Calvary. Nobody drug her. <laughs> Nobody carried her. Nobody, she walked there. She also, I, I was also, um, the, uh, the the mystery of the rosary. Sorry, I don't mean to keep making this about the rosary, but no, we're talking no, about Mama no, Mary. That's, I was but actually um, gonna... the send of the Holy Spirit, yeah. the image on my little prayer uh, card for the rosary mm-hmm. um, is all those apostles. They're there in the upper room. She's there, and they're all like astonishment, and they've got the the little the the images the of the of fire. The um, yeah, tongues of fire on there. Mm-hmm. All astonished, and she has the most placid, almost grin, the smile. Like it's awesome. Like, yeah. Like you were saying, the joy of, you know, ascending, being assumed into heaven to see Jesus. But like, but also like she had that like humility to wait. Yes. So, so let's go back to the rosary because again, I think that the rosary is, I think there are two things. I think Mary, um, we have the rosary as a manual for motherhood. And I think that, um, you know, she, she doesn't stop there. I'll get to that part. But the, where I want to go is, um, you know, we could go back and forth. It would be a fun game being like, okay, which mystery, yeah. you know, what does she teach you? And, you know, for instance, you know, I think of the visitation or um, or the annunciation, uh, not, yeah, the annunciation where, you know, I think of Mary's openness, mm-hmm. right? I want to be open to the spirit as a mother. Mm-hmm. I wake up in the morning and I have a plan for the day and it's, and here we go. But right. the manual that Mary is presenting is, oh, why don't why don't you ask the Lord? Yeah, why don't you be open to where He's guiding you? Yeah, right? in that one, right? So in that one, she had just lived a life of faith. She had learned faith from, you know, from her mom, yeah, and then same. she she learned a life of faith so much that she would be docile to that invitation, right? Mm-hmm. Like, right. Yeah. So yes, her her plans of her entire life were. You know, upended. Yeah, this has me like but, wanting to write. Like, I I want to put the mic aside <laughs> and I want to go write because we have like the um, the second mystery, which is um, well, we have the visitation, and clearly, you know, this is the visitation podcast here on AMA twenty Saint Gabriel but, Catholic Radio, exactly. But um, 
there, what is she teaching us there, right? We can talk about how she's teaching us the importance of community, yeah. the importance of sisterhood, the importance of vulnerability, yes. how important, I mean, like there's so much wrapped up in the visitation. Yeah. We should do a podcast on the visitation. Um, that would be great. But, wouldn't it be cool? Um, but how much is wrapped up in um, her her example there? One of the things I love about parenting is I love I, I believe this so firmly that modeling is the key, right? And if we think that, then we think, well, who's modeling for us? It's Mama Mary. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just clearly Mama Mary. Um, and I think that um, if we if we use the rosary in that way, that's another that's another way of using the rosary, right? We can use the rosary in so many ways: meditative prayer, um, and um, but in this way. I I would love to, you know, go through and be like, you know, what, what's she teaching here? Mm. Right. Um, I don't know. Is there another mystery? Um, my, I, you're like my rosary guru. I know you would hate that. Oh (laughs) goodness. But (laughs) but, Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I what speaks to you? So I, I just, so many of them, right. The, the finding Jesus in the temple, Mm. um, is just so terrifying, you know, like in the fact that, um, and I've shared this before about, um, you know, we being at Disney World at a fun run for the ch- kids that's supposed to be very straightforward. Your kid runs, they get to the end, you collect them. And then right at the last minute, they decide to change the, the end of the route, put them in a, another area, holding pin, if you will, and then we would collect them. And so I, quote unquote, lost one son mm-hmm. because he came to me he reached through i was about to grab him and they moved all the kids away and i started yelling my son i can't reach my son and everyone around was sailing and, and looked at me and said um we can't find ours either and it was it was such a, a paralyzing Anxious. feeling yeah. and i look at my husband and neither of us have words and i just clung to my other son and did not move he said stay in this spot and i did not move and he it was maybe what, two minutes, maybe 30 seconds. It wasn't that long. Mm. And he came with the lost son and we just, it was, it was horrible for me. Right. And, and there've been people who've lost their kids longer, other kind of, you know, quote, mm-hmm. funny accidents happen, things or real ones, right? Like where right. they've really lost figuratively, physically. Um, but did it happen to them? Mm-hmm. How could it that have happened to Mary and Joseph, they were the perfect ones. God was like, mm, you guys, per, per, exactly, I'm going to create you. And one day you're going to be the caretakers of the savior of the world. And he went missing from them. That just gives me <laughs> some right, consolation. And, but, and then you but then you go to the next mystery, right? Which is, you know, we flash forward and he's like, did you not know that I would? And, right? <laughs> and my response would be like, did I not? What? <laughs> right? Let me, let me, you know, I can just feel. But, but. Her, her but she, but she's different like, than us, right? right? She was again still docile, docile, right? still like, and that's the model. That's mm. the like, you know. I always say I want to be that shaking saint. I want to be that person that shakes off the like less, uh, less of me, more of you, Jesus, right? Mary, Mary is that model. Mm. She's clearly that model, and I love her for it. Mm. You're listening to St. Gabriel Radio. This is The Visitation here with Mary Beth Eberhard and Lisa Iglesias. And Lisa, we have been talking about Mary as the incredible manual for motherhood. And I I love the fact that, you know, we've talking about the rosary and how we can use it as a tool for motherhood, how um, or a tool for, you know, what do I do? Mm-hmm. She's, she's so good there. Um, but... I love that she doesn't leave us. She doesn't leave us orphans. You know, so she's, she's, we have the um, assumption, we have the crowning, and then I'm, I'm kind of like, and now what, right? And, and, and then we go to scripture and we have the acts and we know what happens within the church, right? Yeah. But there's always that part of me that's like, now, now what do I do, mama, right? Mm-hmm. And here is, this is like, this is, this is my, my jam here. I am fascinated by Mary's apparitions mm-hmm. because I believe that she is using them as a way to encourage us to be mothers. So you take Guadalupe, and here she's teaching um, she's teaching us to uh, how to teach trust to our children. So she'll say to Juan, Juan Diego, 
am I not your mother? You know, and she's so gentle. Mm. She'll be like, Juanito, my dear. <laughs> and I'm thinking like, you get your tush right over here, boy, right? <laughs> but she's just so gentle and she builds trust, right? right? And and so she's showing us how to do that. Um, we have we have Fatima and Fatima's hard. And there's parts of motherhood where, gosh, we have to dig deep, you know, we... That speaking firmly part is yeah, so hard to do it not with anger or from anger or a place of our own woundedness. And then it comes out like like the, the, the initial for me <laughs> when they were all four little and, you know, no excuses. You know, my, 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 my initial responses or reactions to things that would happen would be very quick and sharp and loud. And... um but where did that come from? Was that was that the firmness of Fatima? No, the firmness of Fatima is like, hey, uh, world, I'm gonna tell these three little kids, three, four, yeah, three. three, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're good, Francisco and Santa Lucia. Um, the, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna show them hell. But I'm tell, I'm showing you the world. I'm showing all of you. This is hell. Like you'd right. want, a, and you she don't want to go there. Away from it, which is really. And she's firm. She's so firm, and the thing out is, out of love, right? We think of Mary. I mean, sometimes we we mistake Jesus this way too, right? We are like, oh, he's so gentle and meek, but come on, um, he is like, he, he knows who he is, right? Mm. And um, and Mother Mary, likewise, she says. Um, you know, she's saying, yes, there are times that we need to be gentle with our children. There are times we need to be firm. We need to be fierce. Um, and at Fatima, she shows us that, right? Um, there are times as mothers where it's uncomfortable. You've got to, you got to lay down the law. How you do it matters, right? That's what but, I'm saying. <laughs> but, but I am, you know, look at Fatima. She's not like, gather around little cherubs, you know? She's, <laughs> she's, she's like, and, but and, 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 I think this is important. And Holy Spirit's kind of speaking to me here. In the culture that we live in right now, I was just having this conversation with one of my oldest um, sons saying, you know, way back 20 years ago when I started parenting, I probably wouldn't envision myself having the need for the conversations that now I need to have earlier. Mm -hmm. For instance, you know, harder topics such as oh, yeah. pornography or topics such as um, uh, social media, you know, those, the, the value of your life and, mm -hmm. um, your, your self-worth. And, um, and I am, I, I simply, you know, stake my flag in the ground that I will not let the world be the person to teach my child those mm -hmm. lessons anymore. Amen. And here's mama Mary at Fatima way back when, right? So she's timeless. Her lessons, her words, whoa. so timeless. Whoa, she's whoa, saying, whoa. You're right. So, so she, yeah. chose the same thing she said so she said you know i'm not gonna let the world let you know what what um the hell or you know what you know their wages of sin and what i'm gonna show them yeah i'm gonna love them and so I'm much children yeah Woo. young children she's going to she's going to bring it to them and say um i mean she's showing this uh, that like they can handle it. And matter yeah. of fact, they need it. Yeah. They need to know because, um, and it, and she doesn't say, matter of fact, she tells them, your life is going to be full of suffering. Mm -hmm. And for us as parents to realize, because we're like, man, this, if I tell them, they're going to be aware, their eyes are going to be opened, mm -hmm. but their eyes are going to be opened by, I mean, the devil wants to open their eyes, right? Well, I mean, I wish I'd had that conversation, you know, about you know, worries mm -hmm. and anxiety and things like that, you know, earlier, like, like you're saying, like Mama Mary said to them, your life will be full of stuff. Like I never, like you're saying, I guess what I'm thinking is not, not necessarily like, I don't want to open their eyes to all of this, you know, evil that they can come in contact with in the world. But I do want to, like, like, I think it would have been good to open their eyes to, you will walk through moments with, in relationships or um, how you're doing in school or, you know, where you fit here in our family or in the big world, big picture kind of thing, or the things going on in the world, you will be afraid of them. Mm -hmm. Things are going to scare you and you'll feel like, like you were saying less of less than, you know, that you're not, you don't matter. You're invisible. And that when you feel that, I want to tell you this, 
Like, I wish that had ever crossed my mind. I'm just, I was always, I was assuming, ah, that'd be great. They're fine. They're, look at them. They're happy little cherubs. Right. <laughs> to your right. word. But like, and, and I, but she has the grace and wisdom, but also, um, as mom, like I would, would heap on to that, this particular part of parenting, mm-hmm. um, where I lacked that I've now set them up for failure because I didn't uh, love them enough, uh, wasn't there enough or wasn't, you know, didn't provide like what would they need it. Like, and so take all of that and then go, oh no. So then maybe that's why they're suffering or they're having this hard struggle when really it's just being alive and being a person <laughs> and you encounter this. Right. Struggle. And nowhere in scripture and nowhere in, you know, and you know, the rosary or or really in any of the times mama mary has appeared i think i'm not an expert but um does she say you know i wish i had been more <laughs> right or or um you know i i i'm sorry for not yeah you know there, you're there, right. there's there's none of that never saw that you're right right um and and i think we need to we need to lean into that. I again, I'm I'm fascinated by these apparitions, and mm-hmm. you know, um, you know that I'm working on writing about them. So this is why, I kind of, this is my jam. But you know, oh, here's another instance. Yes. Um, because you know, we think of we we're human. We really do meet our humanity in mother in motherhood. I mean, it's 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 the reality of it. We we realize that um, that we have a need outside of ourselves. Absolutely. Right. Um. And, you know, particularly I was thinking of the times when, um, you know, there are times to rejoice in motherhood where you are like, um, you know, mama, did you see that? Like Mm. to stay in conversation with her and to celebrate with her. Right. Yeah. There are times in motherhood, too, when you just don't have words. You, you, You don't have words. And so. I'm like, Mama, what do I do now? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because I I didn't grow up with that um, mother influence, bio, you know, biologically in that. Well, I grew up with a biological mom. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't have I that relationship you. with Correct. my mom. Um, and so Mama Mary has been my um, my guide. And I'm thinking about like the hard moments in, oh, I would say tween to uh, older young adults when the big stuff hits and you're sitting you know they they need you but they don't want to say they need you yeah. and so you know what do I do mama because they need I know they need me and truth I need them to need me um <laughs> but what do I do and 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 I was like can you show me and then check this out this image of I don't know if you've seen this but Our Lady of Knock did you know that at Our Lady of Knock um Mary appears she appears um as well with um Jesus and I think it's St. John, but she doesn't say a word. Okay. She says nothing. And I was like, okay, so what are you going to say? And I like, and I'm researching it. Right. And I'm like, you don't say anything. What are you saying? Like, you, cause you're what saying, are you, okay. So right? what are you saying in, in, just, ooh, in your so parents, but without words? Right. Yeah. So here, I think it's a ministry of presence. Ooh. I think that she's teaching us that again, you know, this is like what chapter th- four of the Mary manual. Um, of the ministry of presence, how we as mothers can sit with our children. Mm. It, you know, it just occurred to me like Mary at the foot of the cross, mm. right? She's, mm. there's no recording of what she said, but she was there because yeah. she <clears throat> needed to be and and he needed her to be, right? Yeah. And... I never thought of that. Yeah. I think I think that's, yeah. I could almost imagine like um, you know everybody as she's going towards the cross, going, you know, you know what's going to happen there. So just go back yeah, home. Someone take her away. Yeah, like just go back home. She's the this. mom, you know. Yeah. Right. And she's like, no, I'm going to be there to the last breath because he needs me, you know. And or not, he needs me. You know, that's not. I'm sure like, how she felt, but he like, he needs me to be here yeah, for his right. children. That too. Yeah. Right, yep. like Amen. because he, by then he's given her to Saint John, mm-hmm. and in giving her to Saint John, he's given her to us, yeah. and so he needs her to be there so that we see her there today. Yeah, and and I love, I I I am in love with Mary's heart, and I think that you know, Mary. 
she's the, she's like, so, you know, when you live in the fullness of your vocation and you are like, well, no, you, but you have moments, right? I can see your face, <laughs> but you live in the fullness of your vocation, like, like well, for a moment. I stumble right? and you're like, all day. Yes. I know, me too, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. There, there are, there I hear are you. Okay, I'm, beautiful, I'm, I'm receiving, go ahead, thank keep you, going. Blissful moments where you are like, you are just like, wow, this is, this is beautiful. This is a glimpse. It's a glimpse, right, of heaven. And Mary, when like she is, she's the fullness mm. of living in her mothering vocation, and she wants to guide us in mm. that. And so, as we wrap today, I just wanna, I wanna thank her for that. I want, um, and I want um, our audience, you know, I want us all, our listeners, to just kind of turn our hearts to her example and um, have hearts of gratitude, but also hearts that are supple to her will. Um, to her will for um, us as mothers, her guidance. And um, why don't we end with a Hail Mary today for today's Sounds episode. Great. All right. In the name of the Father, and so the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, <coughs> the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, women, and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on The Visitation.